Welcome to Scrambled Brains. Boys and girls, the children of all ages. Let's get ready to <laughs> suck it. And millions watching around oh, the yeah. world. Let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Jim, what was that commercial? Was it a... Uh... Where he's doing that, and they, they don't cut to him, yeah, and he like keeps going. Red. <laughs> it's like on the ground. All right. Okay, All right, here we let's go. go. Rolling, rolling, mm-hmm. rolling. You may have just created a new career for yourself. Oh, that? I, <laughs> I, I If somebody would pay me more than I'm getting at my job now to just fucking do that, I would. <laughs> I would do it till the day I die. <laughs> All right. Welcome to Scramble Warriors Warriors Cast. I'm Matt Clemens. I'm Nikki Powell. I'm Will Runyon Jr. And this is episode 106. 106. Yes. I don't have you any... didn't even have to ask I... this time. No, I asked earlier. Oh, wait. I don't have any papers. <laughs> oh, I got papers. Wait. Where are your papers? <laughs> Where are your papers? Where are your papers? I'm going to punch you and throw you out the window of this blimp. <laughs> Why would you do that? Didn't have his papers. No, you're supposed to say no ticket. Oh, is that what it was? <laughs> oh, you ruined it. You ruined the whole thing. Shit. <laughs> no, I was talking about that other movie. What was the other? The one about the papers, not the ticket. The one about the papers, not the ticket. Yeah, it was, it was more Nazi. Oh, that one oh. with that guy your yeah. in it. Yeah. So it what that happened thing? this week? Oh, yeah, no, it's, it's real good. Yeah. So you don't start us off with the sad news. What's the sad news? Uncle uh-huh. Georgie. Uncle Georgie who? Uh, Uncle Gregory, you mean? Gregory. Yeah, Uncle Gregory. What? Uncle He's Gregory is going off canceled, the, yeah. apparently. What? I didn't know you could cancel. I don't think you could get hey, on public assets. <laughs> well, whatever. As long as you paid them, they kept putting you on. Why was... You, do you think he just... They just let him come, like, put his show on TV? <laughs> Like, I'm yes, I think that's exactly yeah, what they did. Really? They, just, they needed to fill air, so there he was. Oh, okay, well, for whatever reason, not, uh, he's, he's going away. For the, like, 3.5 seconds we considered doing a horror host show, I'm kind of <laughs> glad we didn't now because it's... Yeah. yeah, but apparently they're going to do uh, reruns for a while. So, for anybody who know, uh, doesn't know, Gr- Uncle Gregory is a horror host Out of Springfield. Uh, based in Springfield, Missouri. And I think... I actually saw some Sven Gulli this summer, mm-hmm. and I think Uncle Gregory's better. better. Yeah, he's pretty and, talented, dude. Yeah. yeah, man. He's actually pretty funny and yeah, uh, worth checking out if, if you're local. You can probably he, find him online, he's, too. He's very good, but and he has good ideas, but it's there's something lacking from the show. And I don't think it's his fault. Yeah. I think it's either he's got a control thing where he won't let other people help him, or he just doesn't know the right people. Oh. Uh, you know what I mean? Does this make sense? Yeah. I and, know no, he's mean. great. Uh, and, you know, his his character's fantastic. But I don't know if it's just, like, it's like, no, it's my baby. I don't want you to have any control over it, so therefore you can't help me. Or I just, I know all the people I know are like me, and they don't know anything about this. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Because it's not missing the character or the funny. It's more, there's something else, and I can't really put my finger on it. Hmm. I'm, I'm almost, I want to say production, but values, but not really that because you do it on the cheap anyway. I right, mean, it's, that's it, part it, of that's the, how the you do it. That it so yeah, that's not exactly what I mean. I just don't know what no. I mean. Yeah, it's, it's missing does. something, hmm. but well, not, now, but not, not about him. Now it's He's missing good. the time slot. Yeah. Well, that's true. Yeah, before yeah. before Matt was the only. Mm-hmm. The uh, the podcast, you know, God that he is. He did. He for a short while he did try to he tried to get together a, a what, what would you call it a movie show? Oh yeah, yeah. that yeah. that yes, because that came out because I was working with someone else on that, and then that fell through, and then I started talking with Will about doing it, <laughs> and then that one fell through too. So. Jeez. Right. But so actually, I think that one fell through because of that. Other because person. of the first one, yes. <laughs> he said he was going to be doing it. Because he like, said he was going to do it on his own now, and, and he that never didn't go did. very far either. That went off. even less than Uncle Gregory. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, Uncle Gregory's been on for years. Yeah, no, he's did, he did yeah. he did well. I'm actually shocked yeah. about this. It was, was such a mainstay, yeah. and it was actually getting on like it was late, but like it was off of it was on channels we could get here. Oh, it yeah. wasn't just public access in right. Springfield, like because Missouri, we, yeah, Springfield, Missouri. There's more than one Springfield. Uh, uh, that's what I'm told, <laughs> of, but I think it's just a you know. But a hope. yeah, we live in Lake of the Ozarks, and we couldn't get public access from Springfield. But it was on one of the channels like that we could get, hmm. like uh, it was Channel Five. Yeah, uh, I which one the new Fox the affiliate? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I never got five. <laughs> and it, um, yeah, and it came through oh. on that, and it was late at night, but it was on. Yeah. So I thought he was doing better. So this is really a shock to me. Right. So, you know, like you said, maybe it is uh maybe it's a just a production issue like uh, I don't know. he's doesn't have help to make the thing happen. Yeah, it or, does it does seem like that, but yeah. I mean he doesn't explain it. He has kind of on Facebook he posted mm. a thing just saying we're go we're leaving the airwaves, but that uh, kind of sucks. I'm, I'm a little, little sad keep about this. Ro rolling for because I thought a long he was. Time. I first, thought he was really good. First, Sammy the Clown, and now <laughs> you guys remember Sammy the no, Clown? No, I don't remember Sammy. the Clown. Oh, that was uh, oh whatever Fox was back in the day. He he was the the clown host that would always have like GI Joe and Transformers in the afternoon. You know who I remember? Mike Malibu. <laughs> I have no oh, idea. Yeah. Who that is. <laughs> I remember Mike Malibu. I don't. Yeah, I still remember. Now this wouldn't there have been GI uh, Joe time. This would have been like Power Rangers. Yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah, um, he Chip did Dale ice, Rescue Rangers. He did like Ice that. Ice Baby parody. Oh, holy shit! Yeah, we're uh, talking early nineties. Okay. He yeah, was the cartoon director for Fox. Uh, whatever that 20, Fox uh, KDAB twenty seven. KDAB twenty seven before they switched over to five. Yeah. How did that go? Uh, actually, I don't remember, I but I remember Mike Malibu. God. And, and he was like, you know, he would, he had this. I remember he had was long wavy hair. He always wore a hat and sunglasses. So he, I mean, this guy could probably walk out. He probably was walking around Springfield every yeah. day, <laughs> and nobody recognized him because if that was a wig, he just took that off, took the sunglasses and hat off, and you wouldn't even know it was him. Right, and he kind of had a persona. He was like a skateboarder dude or something. Or a <laughs> yes, dude yes, or something. I remember because I even got like for a little while they had like a Fox Kids yeah magazine. Yeah, and what yeah, they would do that. is it was the Fox Kid magazine for all Fox affiliates. But there were blank spaces where you could put your local shit in there. Oh. And they would put in stuff with Mike Malibu <laughs> inside the magazine. God. Yeah. And they there was a commercial. Like, how did that go? We should see if any of that's online. It might be. I mean. that, uh, but, yeah, we're, it was a full. I, guess I don't it was remember. Only like the first it, oh verse gosh. or maybe second, first and second verses of uh, – Ice, 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 baby. See, but, this is yeah. showing the difference in age. It's only yeah, like a five-year difference, but yeah, but it's enough to where you remember Sammy the Clown. And we're like, who the fuck is, is Sammy, Sammy the, the clown? clown? And they were like, but Mike Malibu. And we're like, yeah. yeah I have no <laughs> idea who that was. He come after you. I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't the same guy. It could be the same guy. You know, they just and he just got a, a new persona. Way. Yeah. <laughs> but, you um, know. Real quick, since we're on this topic and making Matt cry. Oh, don't want to see there's it. There's Jared Leto as the Joker, fool. He has the Joker tattooed on his stomach. In case he forgets who he is. Yeah, and then right under it's a, a smile. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> what the? Like, it's lame enough uh... if you're, like, in a band and you wear your own band's T-shirt. But to get your own name <laughs> tattooed across. Well, it's like the people I know a girl who has her own name tattooed on herself. And I... <laughs> I've never said it to her face, but I did. I was like, is that so the guys know who they are? <laughs> Probably. I got tired of having to tell them. So. Yeah. yeah, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Show me your Susan? wrist again. Uh, yeah. Susan? Shoes. Su no. Mary. It's Mary, you know, right? Speaking of the, the Joker. Yeah. This, uh, you know what's pissing me off the most? Jerome can't be the Joker, but this is happening. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I finally watched the Suicide Squad trailer, which I didn't even know had come out. Oh, Somehow yeah. Yeah, we've seen, we've seen yeah. it. We've seen it. You've seen it. I didn't watch it, apparently. Oh, okay. you it's been, I think it was on our Facebook page, yep. www. Matt and I were, we, we were in uh, an aquarium. And this guy kept this guy come in wanted oh. to see wanted to see Harley Quinn stuff. Who's yeah my 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 brother or something said that all the Harley Quinn should, stuff. I should invest gonna, in Harley right, Quinn because it's going to go up in price because so, of that Harley Quinn movie. And I'm, I'm, it took me a minute going to Harley. There's I no like, Harley I Quinn that, movie. Like, Harley Quinn movie. And then I took that even Suicide Squad. Yeah. Your brother is a dumbass. Yeah, mm -hmm. Did you did you help well, that guy out? No. Yeah, I mean, because did you all tell my him not 
to do that? All my Clone Saga Spider-Man stuff shot through the roof <laughs> yeah. when they did that Sam Raimi movie. Oh, wait, no, it didn't. <laughs> right. And all the Pizza Hut uh, commemor- uh, commemorati- commemorating uh, cups and uh, toys for hey, the, uh, I've still the got Phantom, Phantom Menace. Menace are, I, I have some. Are I've still valuable. got the little glass ones from Batman Forever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so. I'll, I'll do you one better. I have the Taco Bell cups from Batman yeah. in 1989. Oh. Up until I got married, I had the Godzilla uh, cup holder from Taco Bell. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they're, they're like fit in your window? Do yeah. You like yeah. Little... Back in the day, boys and girls, before cup holders were, yeah, ran, were in cars, in you had like these little cup holders you'd clip onto the, the door itself. Yeah, I remember those. The best thing was when you had the fan hook there, the cup holder, the <laughs> everything, well, every little accessory you could clip onto the side of your car. What I was going to say, though, is I, I watched the trailer just today. Yeah. I was listening to a podcast, and they mentioned it. It was a podcast yeah. you know, uh, from uh, Comic-Con. And uh, the, uh, I and seeing him in, in motion, I hated it less. You know, I guess that's, that's what Zack Snyder does well, right? It, it's visually interesting, so you don't think about it until later, yeah. how terrible it is. Uh, I mean, but, uh, let's be honest. I don't know. How many I was of us didn't thinking like about how terrible Sucker Punch was the whole time I was watching <laughs> it? Well, let's be honest. How many of us saw a still shot of uh, Heath Ledger's Joker and thought, "Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, <laughs> what the hell is yeah, this?" It I, was more when they uh, said Heath Ledger was going to, because all well, I knew yeah. him from was a Knight's Tale, and I was like, "Yeah, <laughs> that dipshit with that that was." And then, and then the next, on that hot chick, and then the movie? next picture you saw was where it was scar tissue. Yeah. You know, it was a close-up, and you're going, oh, this is going to suck. <laughs> I don't know, but it was amazing. He really yeah, he made that good. performance. Yeah. Yeah, but I liked, because, you know, the trailer ends with the Joker saying, I'm yeah. not going to kill you. I'm going to hurt just you hurt really. you real bad. And, That's uh, what sucks. And I thought his delivery was good. He sounds good. He kind of, I don't know, he looked creepy. You just have I, to see how it I'm plays gonna, out. This might be my first disappointment in a Joker, though. I have been nothing but. I even like the the animated one in the Batman with the with oh the dreadlocks. dreads. I even like that the, one. The dreadlocks this and one, the striped straight jacket. This and one I he do has not like, like. Eyeliner or something, right? Or like he has dark. Un- he had like red a, eyes. A yeah, the red Joker, yellow yeah. eyes. Yeah, and it was like done by. Uh, Brian Michael Richardson, who is known for, like, it's this big, burly black guy with the deepest voice you've oh, yeah. ever heard. He does a lot of uh, guys for Family Guy. Um, and yeah. he does Cleveland Jr.'s voice, if that's the craziest oh, wow. thing. Huh. But he does, who does he do that? Um, oh, I've seen him recently in something. He does the principal's voice in American Dad. Yeah. He does a lot of he, stuff he's with one of those. Garland. He's one of those guys right now that's hot, and he's about everything. Oh, he does everything. He's everything. Yeah. He was in Transformers. I swear I heard him in My Little Pony when my kid no, was watching it's possible. it. <laughs> yeah, as we're amping up, we are coming in on Halloween, which means Evil Dead. H-A-D-O-D-A-D. We do have the first A-D-O-D-A-D. four minutes Double of Evil Double Dead Double. on Oh, our really? Face. I haven't seen it. You want to yeah, watch, let's watch that? Quick? Yes. Okay. All right. Just... Fuck. We on? Whoa, Matt, come on. And now back to Scrambled <laughs> yeah. Brains. Now we're back to Scrambled Brains. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you are... So far, looks good. Yeah, no, I liked that. That I was enjoying the whole thing. It was so. Now we just got to find a way to make sure we see it. Do you think that happens to Ash like all the time? <laughs> I think he's got it down. Yeah, yeah, he. he knows, <laughs> I'm knows getting a little windy. How about we focus on me? That sounds like me during <laughs> sex. <laughs> like, I can't. I don't know if I can do this. <laughs> you killing oh, me? Oh, fat! You killing me? I think it's video, but. <laughs> Now, you boys are going to have to start making some, some decisions. Mon- well, I guess we're here Monday nights. So, but you got, I told the wife and kids, you know, you either got Gotham or you've got Supergirl. Oh, Gotham. Got- Fuck, that's <laughs> easy. I'm taping both of them. Oh, okay. That is true. I got a DVR. I can't okay. tape both of them. I can watch one and tape the other they, one. They did cast the uh, the Toy Man. Toy Man. Oh, wait. I'm, I'm, taping. Taping. I taping. just have them taping them. DVR There's and another, Hopper. There's uh, generational thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We knew what you meant. Okay. So there's still, some 15 year old kid going, What the fuck is he talking about? We used to record media on magnetic tape. <laughs> oh, I still say things like, Oh, they got a new album coming out. Yeah, rewind that. <laughs> well, I never say rewind. Uh, yeah, no, I've said rewind it. Or skip that track. <laughs> it's like there's some. But. I don't know. Do you need to like flip? Do you need to like flip your iPod over, blow on the bottom, <laughs> and then rub it against your shirt? No. <laughs> Wait, that doesn't work? Okay. 
Wait, what? what? Wait, yeah. what are we what, talking about? What, what, what in the hell is oh, going on? You know, I, oh, no, I was being an no, ask. No, no. Since we're talking about on? horror, did you go see Crimson Peak? I did. Okay, we can talk about this bullshit. Okay. Since oh, you guys are going to leave me out did. of Walking Dead, I'm going to leave well, you out of Well, not this week. I haven't got to watch it yet. Oh, that's All right. right. Then I'm going to spoil the shit out. Yeah, no, okay. I even well, know, I know spoiler. part. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, because it was all over the internet today. <laughs> For what? But you saw Crimson Peak? I did. Okay. Lay it on me. What do you need? Okay, do? well, okay, so we talked about this after the show yeah, last week. Yeah, um, I saw it, and I was like, oh, we should have talked about that, but nobody else had seen it. So. Right. Um, I liked it, actually. Oh, you well, liked it. Okay. Uh, possibly because of your review, mm -hmm. um, I had lowered expectations. <laughs> so you had lowered expectations. expectations when you went in. So. Right. Lowered but expectations. It really, like, I mean, I guess that combined with what it was, I felt like it was what I was expecting or, it was or what I was, what I was hoping expecting. for. You know, I thought it... To me, have you seen like the Devil's Backbone? Like, uh, it was his like second. No, I haven't seen that one. Uh, or uh, Pan's Labyrinth. You ever I have seen. Like, I've seen parts of Pan's Labyrinth. I've never sat through it from yeah. beginning to end. Well, see, I, I mean, thought this was kind Del of a return to that sort of a yeah, form. Yeah, the Del Toro I've seen is like Hellboy, yeah. Pacific yeah. Rim. Right. You know, that's the ones I've seen. Yeah. Well, see, and I, I was looking forward to. Uh, I a, thought this a, would be more akin to Woman in Black. Okay, which was wait, a hammer I, horror film. See. Okay. Oh right. Okay. See. Yeah. But see, I wanted I a gothic horror, and this was. Uh, it was I mean, it was. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I thought. I thought it I was. I like gothic it's, horror, but it's like a, a throwback gothic horror. You know, like with a few. It's got some modern twists. Or but elements. how incons inconsequential the ghosts are add to actual oh. plot of the movie. Well, they. Well, they they don't yeah. Well, that's actually I thought that was interesting because it's like mm -hmm. basically I don't know you can't really talk about it. I don't want to spoil it but right. but <laughs> I like the way that the ghosts like were used in the movie like yeah like you well and like you said yeah last time it's not a a ghost story like the ghosts aren't I guess this is a small spoiler but the ghosts aren't going around killing everybody. Well, they they tell you what it is at the very at the very beginning. Yeah. He, when she's she's a writer and she's trying to sell her manuscript, the guy goes, "This is a ghost story," and she's like, "No, it's a story with a ghost in it." Right. And that's exactly what this is. Yes. Right. Right. And uh, which is, that's kind of I don't know I, I I like that take on it that it's sort of it's a grounded movie. Yeah. Like throughout. Well, I don't know. Yeah, I don't want to get too much into the, <laughs> like the specifics of it. But I thought, you know, visually, I mean, you can't argue that it was Oh, a visually it was movie. amazing. Oh, yeah. Like and, and Hiddleston was a great. Yeah. I think actually most of the actors in this were really good. Yeah. Yeah, um, right. But it yeah, and it was it was like very methodical. You might even say slow. I don't mind that so much. But uh yeah, I I thought it was I paced like a actually slower pace, well. especially on what I I think is going to be a horror movie. I don't like the first scene to be like, you know, Jason chopping a dude's yeah. head off and then drinking the blood. You know, I, I like for it to build a slow right. build. Right, and I liked it. And and I, I did feel like the script was not super strong. No, like, there I were agree no totally surprises. <laughs> you know, it was all like very standard stuff. You like saw everything coming, you know. And I mean, there were so many but, clues. And I mean, it was they were like smacking you in the face yeah. with them. Like they're like, oh, <laughs> you know, we don't have butterflies. At yes. home, right? We have uh, what were black the black moths? Black moths. What do oh. they eat? Butterflies. Right. That's what oh, guess what we're gonna do to you? Yeah. Right. Well, yeah. Well, she's the butterfly, and they're, and they're the, the black, black moths. Moth. Yeah. yeah no, I mean, makes total... the symbolism was. Yes. Yeah. It was not like, subtle at all. And they're all. just like smacking you, like, oh, yeah. there it is. Yeah. You pay attention. Oh, there it is. <laughs> right. But I kind of. But I. I don't know. I felt like it was. It was comforting in a way. Like it's like, I don't know. It just. I. I. Wasn't so concerned with the like, you know, the shocking turn, mm, nah. and I was just like, okay, well, it was just like well crafted. Turn. I just, you know, a little bit more subtlety would be nice. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, but I, yeah, I don't know. I, I liked it. That was I felt the same way with the ghost. Yeah. Like the first five minutes, you see a fully rendered CGI ghost that is right up in her fucking face. <laughs> right. I'm like. Can't we see something out of the shadows and then maybe yeah. oh, no, see a little no, more no, of it? No, no. And you That's only true. see the ghost at I, the very end. That, when it's fully I was revealed. disappointed with that uh, that they didn't do more practical stuff with the no, ghost. No, it's all CGI. Yeah. And I wanted to yeah. see something a little bit more practical. Yes, yeah. practical. Yeah, like he's so uneven with this with Garrett Merrill Del Toro, the director writer. Del Mel Del uh, Toro. Of, yeah. Like you know his early films and and uh, even Hellboy, yep. yeah, it's like it's, all, it's a lot, a of, lot practical of practical stuff. stuff. It's really yeah, it's really good. And and it's a good combination with the with the CGI stuff. 
And yeah, I mean, and, I understand why Pacific Rim wasn't right. You know, a giant fucking monsters <laughs> and robots. Yeah. If you put guys in suits, it's going to look like Godzilla, like from Japan. It's yeah, which isn't a bad thing. That I like, I get in the mood for that a lot. Yeah. And, I'm really yeah. looking forward to the next couple of years when it comes to actually what they're going to do with Godzilla and all that other stuff. American and yeah. Japan. Yeah. So we don't forget, what did you boys do for a Back to the Future Day last week? I worked. There you go. I forgot it was so, Back to the Future Day until like 11 o'clock p.m. I, I, but, did, I did wish that I had a Marty McFly cosplaying costume sitting around so I could have come to work that way. All you needed was a big orange vest. No, but, like the oh. auto-adjusting jack. So I dressed like it was 2015. Oh. But uh, uh, Matt saw it. Did you see the Jimmy Kimball? Oh. You know, they took it down. We had it on our Facebook page. They took page. that one down, too? I guess so. I kept reposting it, and they assholes. kept taking it down. But, yeah, they uh, uh, both actors showed up on Jimmy Kimball as Doc and Marty. And I don't know if it oh, was, like, nice. awesome or the most depressing thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Be- yeah. Yeah, because, like, you know, Michael J. Fox is, like, Jerking all oh, around. Oh, he's not jerk. He, his face is drawn a bit. He didn't jerk he that much. He's doing stuff like this a lot. I, the, that the listeners can totally see me Im- imitating. You would not. Let's, let's just what put Matt it this way. I would right say now. if he didn't have that disease, we would have a Back to the Future four, five, and six Maybe. by now. Yeah. But I mean, Christopher Lloyd was nailing it, but it oh, seemed yeah. like he was forgetting stuff. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, that was Wednesday, right? Mm. Yeah. Was it, yeah. I don't think it was, I did it was the 21st. Anything. October 21st, 2015. So, yes. But they had some neat thing. I mean, you no know, stuff going on everybody writing yeah. stuff up. No, one thing I did like is it said uh, I said I put a meme up where it said everybody's worried about what's going on in 2015. They forgot what happens in 2017. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which I enjoyed. I actually. Oh yeah, uh, that's one of my favorites. Awesome. That's yeah. something I did. I think either Monday night or Tuesday night last week. I fell into a YouTube hole and uh, watched like every episode <laughs> of uh, uh, the Cinema Sins or what? Like, oh yeah, uh, oh, everything yeah. wrong with this movie oh. in, in fifteen minutes or whatever that was. Oh, those are fun. I yeah, love those. Man. Yeah, except- and that Running Man was one of them. Uh, so it was fresh on my mind. And, and I okay. want to tell anybody who's a big fan of the Hunger Games. Yeah. Guess what? They ripped that fucking shit off because oh, that yeah. have that is the oh. premise of the running. Well, and also Battle Royale. Like, oh, exactly. Yeah. Battle Even Royale, too. It's like, yeah. Specifically. Well, I don't know if uh, on our Facebook page we do have everything wrong with Avengers 2. And they keep complaining about, like, the scepter. What the hell? Where did this come from? Where did it go missing again? Do I have to watch S.H.I.E.L.D.? No, Jackass. You're supposed to watch Captain America where they get yeah. the scepter and you got to get it back. Yeah, I didn't. I don't know. I've lost track of everything. I, well, that's what they, they don't make it the movie universe where you got to watch Shield because they're still separated. Yeah, which really pisses me off because I, I, I've said it a million times. The people that are doing the Netflix shit have got it. They've got that wrapped up. The people who are doing the movie stuff are pretty good. Avengers two was kind of a slippery slope, but it wasn't as bad as Iron Man three, which was yeah. really that to me low point. Iron Man. A yeah. lot of people say Thor: The Dark World, but Iron Man three I thought was worse. Yeah, it was. Mm-hmm. Then I then yeah. The, the exception to this is Captain America, which continually get better with every installment. So, <laughs> so I'm far. really looking forward to Civil War. So, yeah. okay, have you heard about, supposedly there's uh, an intentional thing that Marvel's doing to mirror the Star Trek, or Star, sorry, Star Wars movies. Mm. Uh, uh, I, can't, I, I watched a video about this. No, no I've not heard I. this. And uh, supposedly, I can't remember what they said, all the parallels that were drawn from the oh. first you know, uh, uh, what are they calling them? Uh, phase one, phase two, yeah. phase three. So supposedly, phase one was supposed to mirror things from the first, from A New Hope, mm-hmm. and then phase two is supposed to. Uh, the Empire mirror. Strikes Back. Yeah. So everybody's a down note. So, oh. so phase two, and one of the things that they said they're doing, they or they did, and they gave like seven examples of this, and I, I, and it, I was like, oh wow, really? That's 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 weird. I don't remember no. the fun people comedy getting their hands chopped heist. off, and huh? People got, like seven different Marvel oh, yeah. characters got Coulson their hands got their hand off. cut off. Loki got his hand cut off. Or no, no, Thor, Thor got did. his whole hand yeah. cut off. Yeah. Uh, who else got I, their hand cut uh, can- off? Oh, uh, uh, Nebula cut her own hand off. Yeah, um, to get away. Kang, uh, not Kang. What the fuck? What is his name? Uh, Claw. 
claw got his hand, hand cut, cut off. off. Groot got both his arms cut yeah. off at some point. <laughs> right. And, uh, yeah, so anyway, I just, I'd never heard that before. Tang's a completely And this uh, thing was talking about it like that was a known a known thing. So no, I yeah, I didn't know. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't take up. Speaking of Star Wars related stuff, should I wait until later, like for oh. the Star Wars corner? I have oh, another. Like, there's an a lot of Star Wars today. shit that happened. Like we this all, is not we could go, like spoilery or not we even really Star Wars right now because yeah. Star Wars fucking broke the internet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so there's this really cool write up. I put it on the Facebook page. Oh. About. Luke Skywalker being a Sith Lord. My brother, my bro- my son's been talking about this for a week. It, this was yeah. his whole yeah. It's taken oh, off. The, and they the make Kylo a really Ren good is Luke Skywalker. For yeah, yes, that specifically. Mm, but also, that. they go through and they say, like, if you watch the uh, Return of the Jedi, formerly Revenge of the Jedi, which plays in, yeah, mm-hmm. uh, you see him turn. Yes, it, he you does. can look at it in a certain way, and it for actually just a shows moment. him. He gives in. Giving in to the dark side. And in the original ending, which George Lucas sold to lighten it up to sell more toys, mm-hmm. uh, he would he just walked away, uh, apparently like, you know, they they say like a cowboy at the end of a western. You mean ending. instead of going down to the thing and like hugging everybody and right. seeing his ghost dad and Yeah, he went he saw man. Bill Cosby. Go build the new empire. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but they do talk about my, my, my son pointed out it's like who else knows where Darth Vader's body would be. Hmm. You know, I have Luke one Sky- thing to disprove uh, this. That lightsaber is shitty. <laughs> Luke Skywalker would know how to build a better lightsaber. Because <laughs> he built the green one, and it worked just fine. Uh, we also have on our Facebook page the uh, fake history. Did you watch that? <laughs> no, I didn't watch that. Oh, what is uh, they? They made a joke about uh, or about how how bad the uh, the clone warriors were, or you no know, stormtroopers were possibly yeah. clones, and they cloned a man. Or they cloned a guy that had, uh, and they used the scientific term. Fear for, uh, furry animals, and that's why the Ewoks was able to beat them because <laughs> they all had the same fear. <laughs> oh shit! The one thing, that... <laughs> or one week. Well, that's bad planning on the Emperor's part because he's building his battle station yeah. with a above a planet with a shield generator protecting that <laughs> on a planet full of small furry animals. I mean, if you if that was the one flaw, and you you would think at one point they'd be like, "This planet is perfect." Now, uh, boop, what boop, the boop. fuck is that thing? <laughs> Did you see the little fairy bear that ran by? <laughs> and like, uh, Trooper one through, what are you up in that tree? <laughs> Gets down here. You're scared? <laughs> are all of you scared of the furry little bears? We're they going to have to pick another planet. <laughs> oh, uh, we did watch like the tail end of uh, Rebels this weekend. Mm-hmm. And the... They actually brought in. Did you guys ever watch the the Clone Wars? I did no. some. Okay, they had a a group of, of 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 they they focused in on one group of yeah the Wolf Pack. The Wolf Pack. They're Cap- in this by Captain Rex. Wait, from yes. the Walk, Walking Dead. No, no, but they're in Rebels. They're older because they're yeah. they're aging, and that you know they help the Rebels out. And the kid goes, "Wow, think what we could do together as a team." And the one Jedi go, guy goes, "Yeah, we tried that once. Didn't work out so great." Yeah, they shot us. <laughs> yeah. So I'm wondering, did they ever show the wolf pack turn on him, or did they? No, but Commander Cody is, he's one of these characters. that There's a reason Commander Cody's not there. Oh. Because Rex was the guy that was loyal. He was basically the, the guy under Luke Skywalker. Like, okay. I'm the general, you're my second in command. Yeah. That's Rex for Anakin Skywalker. Obi-Wan Kenobi's second in command, Cody. Uh-oh. Basically, like... In Revenge of the Sith, it's like a little Emperor Palpatine showed up and went, execute order 66. Mm. And he's like, okay, <laughs> shoot that fucker. <laughs> right. And they shoot at him and almost kill him. So they don't really, yeah. They don't go into it. Okay, well, that's cool. But, that oh, didn't happen um, to Anakin. He had all his guys behind him, and they were going to kill kids in the Jedi Temple. Yeah, no kidding. Um, the... Um, uh, on our Facebook page, we do have where someone's taken all the, so far up till now, the uh, Star Wars trailers. Well, new and made ones them, dropped, too, so. Yeah, and made one long trailer. Yeah, I saw all that. That was, that was almost tear-worthy. <laughs> I had somebody, yeah. I saw somebody that put it together in what they thought was chronological order for the oh. movie. So the way things have played out in the movies. I still don't know what this movie's about. I don't. Hmm. I know I know. there's a stormtrooper who's a black guy. 
who crashes. I think he's just wearing the stormtrooper armor. No, they to... they no, talk really, about I that think he's really yeah. that by the time Star Wars happened, that it was a mix of people from yeah oh. from of clones and, and people clones. from throughout the Republic. Okay. So, and then he lands on this desert planet, which isn't Tatooine. And somehow, it's not Tatooine. It's not Tatooine. Oh well, fuck that. Thing. I know it looks like fucking Tatooine, doesn't it? Yeah, it's what I. Yep. Unless they're throwing us a curveball and saying it. No, it's this planet called Jakku, and then they're like, "Nah, fucking fooled you, it's Tatooine." <laughs> it and um, and somehow, like then they meet Han Solo, and we know this because there's footage of the Millennium Falcon on this same planet. Planet, yeah. And. They fly away, and then some other shit, and then there's, like, some battle on this ice, this snowy world that's apparently where the Imperials of the First Order is. Co- I don't know. It's, it's yeah. all, but I still don't know what the story is. Apparently there's a super weapon in this story, and I don't even know what it is. So, and that's the thing, at the end of Jedi, Which you thought. A, they have a Death Star, but it's not a Death Star, and I don't know what it is. At the end of Jedi, you thought, well, that's it. It's over. You know, they, they the what's Rebels that, won. What's that old no. robot chicken sketch? Yeah. It's like, well, it's over. Well, no, we've got the whole fleet and the whole Republic. Nope, nope, they blew up two Death Stars. It's no, over. They win. It was like, they, oh. blew, they blew up the Death Star. He's like, they blew up the Death Star the first time, and we came back. And he's like, yes, but this time they killed the Emperor. Yeah. <laughs> so now it's over. So we're just all on track. <laughs> it's like they've got a whole fleet of Star Destroyers. Like, oh, let's turn around and go home. Yeah. It's over. There had to be somebody. Well, but I mean, I'm guessing Vader, after Grand Moff Tarkin died, was second in command. Man, well, there, so there had to be both. some hierarchy. There's got to be. Somebody. Or it's one of those that the Empire just tore itself apart. You know, it broke into factions. Civil of War. Yeah, that probably to... the Moffs tried to gain power. Like what happened to the Roman Empire? Yeah. Wait, what? You said Grandma who? who? No, Grand Moff Tarkin. Oh, that a Grand Moff me. is like a guy. He's he's a, a regional commander over a section of space. Okay. Yeah. Tarkin was the guy who built the Death Star was a Grand Moff. Yeah. How long he how, how he went as long as he did without getting the shit choked out of him? I don't know. Because he was outranked Vader somehow. Yeah. I don't know how. I the the explanation I got was this that this I don't know if this is in any books or something that aren't canon anymore. Anyway, is that after the plans were stolen, Darth Vader was put under. Moff's command by the Emperor in order to get the plans back. Yeah. So he answers to Grand Moff Tarkin. So for this Moff, mission. For this, yeah. Because I've never seen anything else Mm-mm. that even stories that predate Mm-mm. Star Wars, you know that, what I mean, take that, place. That Vader answered to anybody. Yeah, Vader was his own, yeah. Well, he's kind of the baddest motherfucker in the galaxy, so <laughs> it's kind of hard to take crap from people that you know you could disembowel with three moves. <laughs> Then Luke Skywalker, Aaron, yeah. poster boy, white hair, or er, blonde hair, blue, blue eyes, eyes, gets his hand on motherfucking lightsaber and decides he's going to roll the motherfucking galaxy. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, uh, it was a, well, it wasn't the, you know what? He could have <laughs> killed Luke Skywalker at any time. It was because it was his son. Oh, he didn't know that, though. No, he did. I don't think he did. I I think he did. I think, I think, I don't think he knew in Star Wars, but, but he didn't come Empire into direct conflict with Luke. Yeah. I think by the time Empire Strikes... When he when he knew he says he goes the rebels are there and Skywalker is with them he yeah. knows that is his son oh uh, what was it? it was Dark Horse did a whole story a whole mini series of Vader going around killing anybody that knew that it was a Skywalker that blew up the Death Star mm-hmm. so so but, are we, we going to talk about this new trailer though for the new trailer oh. for the Force Awakens that came out yeah. Uh, Monday Night Football, did not watch it that way. I saw it on the internet that yeah, night. Yeah, most people I, did. I risked my my, my uh, data limit to watch it not <laughs> once but twice. Um, wow. And that then the ticket sales went on, on oh, and Lord. crashed like almost Fandango went down. I think they said this movie has made $6 million. Oh, that was the middle of last week. Already. In yeah. IMAX. Just IMAX. Yeah. They sold over $6.5 million in tickets. In just IMAX. Already, this yeah. movie doesn't come out till the 18th. middle of December. Yeah, of December. Yeah, so that's insane. <laughs> that's insane. It's going to set new records. I mean, uh, it has to. Be, uh, you yeah. think it's going to be highest grossing movie of all time? Oh yeah. If it's already six point it five and it's two months it before you it know comes what? out, you know what? we needed this. We needed those awful prequels. To to to, I don't think a Star Wars movie could have beat Titanic. 
no. before those awful prequels. It's this return to form to what everybody wants to s- actually see that is really getting this new surge where they're like, that shit, we couldn't just embrace it because it said Star Wars. Now you're going to give us what we actually and, want, so we're going to super embrace it. And the thing is, and you guys can agree or disagree with me, the prequels looked like a Star Wars movie. This f- I don't even think they looked that much. Well, like there was movie. just certain, but this some parts of it looked like it. This feels oh, like feels, a Star Wars movie. It does feel like a. Star and Wars they're movie. already giving praise that they didn't make up Carrie Fisher to look better than she does because she looks like a fifty-year-old woman, you know, whatever she is woman. A fifty-year-old woman. And, uh, and it's like, oh, it shows a woman's inner that. strength she's and truth. Than that. Oh, yeah, she's in her 50s. I think she's like 50. I I put on her Facebook page. She she had a birthday. She's like 56 or something. She was almost underage. Oh, yeah, she's 18 or so. And Harrison Ford was 33. So he was macking. So that would be like. Chewie was macking us. You know, I mean, if I started making googly eyes at a 17 year old now. They know. I'm not saying I don't do that. Okay, 59. Yeah. Yeah. She was really young when they did that first Star Wars. Yeah, but I saw a thing. Uh, actually, speaking of that, like uh, it was just a you know a meme headline thing, whatever. Uh, like that, uh, uh, Han and Leia are like actual age yeah. in this mm-hmm. movie. Is this some alternate version of Hollywood? <laughs> yeah, where they're not on a CGI. No, yeah, younger. I right. I think it's good. Well, yeah. 30, 40 years have passed. Between right. Return yeah. of the Jedi so, and yeah, let let, uh, let time enough pass. time to where people he has to confirm, like they're like, hey, we heard some stories about stuff that happened during yeah, that. And it, he's like, oh yeah, no, that all fucking and, happened. And that's kind of like you know us talking to our kids about Star Wars. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like, no man, this was the greatest movie ever. Yeah, this is I how mean, how do you explain to a kid the seventies now? Yeah, you know what I mean. It's and that's what you'd have to do. It's that's what it's like. It's like. What? Wait, you couldn't? You had to line up for gas? <laughs> Let's see, what's, what's amazing is we went from Han, who in, in Star Wars was like, I don't believe in any of that oh, shit. Oh, I know. To now he's like, it was all true. Well, you he's know, seen it's all... some shit. <laughs> yeah, I have right. seen some shit. Sometimes I didn't see nothing, but shit was still going on. <laughs> I, a dude in a gigantic metal and suit, all black. Nubian God. <laughs> He froze me in carbonite just to get another dude, and then he got that dude here and cut his fucking hand off. That is kind of like explaining the 70s to our kids. Some crazy shit went on. Then, then, when next thing I know, I'm in the middle of this Jabba's palace, (laughs) and Luke Skywalker's like telling me not to worry. (laughs) Dancers are getting half naked. Yeah, half naked dancers are getting eaten, and. And then we're on a sail barge, and all I see is this green flashing light. I don't even know what the hell was happening. Um, my son said the other day, he goes, I can, uh, you know, I'm, I'm getting to the edge. I can start using the term, you know, back in the day. Oh, please. I said, son, back in the day to you was a couple years. To me, it was a couple decades. <laughs> was, hey, don't you remember 2007? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that was, that was yesterday, wasn't it? Yeah, no, yeah, it does feel like it. There's a certain, I know what age it was when this turned into this, and it was 28. 28 is the age, not 30, 28 is the age when I went from, like, the whole world's ahead of me to, shit, did I fuck this up? (laughs) No turning back now. Yep. Might as well finish it out. (laughs) Might as well ride this one to the end. (laughs) Oh, shit, I was, like, at 20. I, yeah. I, I was sitting in my 12 by 60 trailer going, well, nothing to do now but grow old and die. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, I think I remember, I, I was probably about 20, 19, 20. Really? I, you See, know, I was much later than you guys. And, uh, Late there bloomer, was, apparently. Like a, a friend of mine, uh, like his younger sister was like still in high school, and we are like, cherish it, man. Best oh, yeah, of your no. life. <laughs> I don't, I don't know how care, much care I told you. I might have been you like don't 25. Know. Don't know. You don't know, man. You don't know. When no, I, t- I never said best years of your life, but I, I did say like, you know, you don't have any responsibilities yet. Yeah. You should probably take advantage of that. See, I never went like, boy, I wish I was in high school again because high school sucked. Oh, yeah. It sucked. High school sucked. Um, but, you know, I wouldn't mind being 25 again. Yeah. That's only 10 years ago, but it's a hell of a 10 years. That's a hell of a decade right there. 
from 25 to 35, that's a hell of a decade. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now you're like, oh, my back hurts. <laughs> Why is my butt leaking? <laughs> no, I haven't had butt leak yet, so. Oh, oh everything's popping. What the yeah. fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, well, why does uh, my back always hurt? <laughs> okay, we we I think we covered this before, but Mark Ruffalo has confirmed he has signed on. Yeah, for and the Thor, we need to talk about Ant Man two, which they oh, announced not only announced but announced the title for, which is Ant Man and the Wasp. Yeah, I think it was like twenty eighteen. I know this is going to be good. This is yeah. I so they've got it. So they we, said this is the first time a female superhero has been mentioned in the title of a movie. Well, other than but, Captain Marvel. But it's coming out before Captain Marvel. Oh, it, okay. So. Uh, Captain Marvel was announced, but Captain Marvel has been pushed back. Yeah. What about Catwoman? Oh, for Marvel. For I mean, Marvel. Okay. Yeah, there you go. But yeah, Jessica Jones, was, but I not mean, a movie. There was Supergirl back in like 1980-whatever. Yeah. Well, think of it this way. Uh, Jessica Jones does come out. On the tw- uh, November twentieth on Netflix, we mm-hmm. just watched the trailer. Which looks looks great. great. Yeah, it looks really good. I can't. If wait. if this carries off, if this is half as good as Daredevil, it really will push oh, lead I'm, female I'm roles for comic. I mean, book I'm there. hoping yeah. this Mockingbird series, but since it's a spinoff of Shield, I can't put too much faith. I, in. I don't know if they're really going through with that or not. I don't know if they've decided to. But or... I, when you're going like, well, what do you want to see ne- next from Netflix? I want to see a Punisher series. Spun off from this. Well, they still and then I want to see Moon Knight, and I want to see Ghost Rider. Well, they still have Luke Cage, Iron Fist, and the Defenders to Is do. It, Iron Fist was iffy. Weren't they talking no, about it Iron was, Fist? No, it was like a, that was I one of the original four. That they yeah. were having a little bit of trouble with, and that's why Moon Knight got announced. Well, because they're trying. It's the whole it had mysticism. To do with the, the actor and the mysticism. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So we'll just have to see, hmm. but but Jessica Jones, David. T- oh, David Tennant oh, seems creepy in oh this. Oh my gosh. Yeah, actually, yeah, the the trailer, it looks really, well, I've kind of, I've been, I I think it's a really cool subject matter. I think they could do r- really interesting stuff with it, and it looks like they're doing it. Like, they're not screwing it up. Oh, no, yeah, no. this is like, like, Daredevil looked like it was a crime drama that had this, this looks like a psychological yes. horror thing. Oh, it's yeah. It's like, oh, I just, I'm loving everything they're doing on Netflix. <laughs> so It's so good. See, I, right. I have complete faith. Now that I've seen all of Daredevil. And it was amazing. Yeah. I've seen what is coming out of Jessica Jones, and it looks good. I have complete faith in, like, Luke Cage. Oh, yeah. And I yeah. have complete faith, faith in Iron Fist, too. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it looks good. That's... Have you seen the trailers for the uh, Into the Badlands? Yes. yes. Oh, my gosh. It looks amazing. My, looks my eight-year-old awesome. is, like, psyched for that. <laughs> I can't yeah. even place what it, what style it is. It's like... It's, it's kind Kung of its Fu own thing. Western set in 1930s New York. I don't yeah. know what the fuck is going on. But it's like, isn't it like the future where everything's right. gone to shit? And... Exactly right. Yeah, it, it's yeah like the future where things have started to come back around to yeah the it's, past. It's so <laughs> cool looking. It's I almost don't... steampunk, but not. It's not steampunk. You know. I know. I know. But there's like that. Yeah. There's that weird stylized, uh, yeah, Victorian dress thing going on. I, it's, it does look good. It, it looks, looks really interesting. What's that going to be on? Is that going to be on AMC or is that going to be yeah, on? Yeah, it's AMC. Yeah, I might yeah. watch that. I'm going to check it out for sure. Yeah. Okay, since we're on AMC, good segue, Walking Dead. Yes. I didn't get to watch it last night because of Hell in a Cell. I want to yell what happened but, so bad. Well, by the time this airs, know, it's been two I or three days it. in. Everyone should know if they haven't watched it. Spoiler! Spoiler! I did, spoiler, see, spoiler. I did see pictures of the end. Now... Oh. I guess we could do, you know, yeah, spoilers. Glenn supposedly. Glenn's dead. <laughs> well, no, because what I saw from the pictures, I could, it's one of those you don't see a body, you're not sure what yeah. you saw. Somebody described this to me at work. Okay. Yeah. Pretty much is there's this asshole that, what, last season left him to die. It was Glenn right. and these other guys, and they went on a run. This guy freaked out and left them with a horde right. of zombies to die. Well, yeah, he was one of the people. They're in this, like, town that, that hasn't had to deal with the zombie apocalypse because yeah. they had walls, and they've just been safe and sound inside. So, yeah, he and the they had kind of a policy of just abandoning or, like, running this guy away did, zombies yeah. attack. This guy, if, if and, apparently he's done this more than once. If, if the <laughs> shit hits the van, he's like, fuck you guys, I'm gone. I don't got you ah, back. I'm saving my that. yeah. I'm I'm <laughs> saving my own ass. 
and it did Let lead me trick you. <laughs> it did lead to a very gruesome death of a pretty decent character. It was what was the kid's name? I don't remember. Like North or Malcolm or something like that. I mean, you see this poor kid screaming. What it is is they're trapped in a uh, revolving door. A revolving door. Revolving doors are death traps. Yes. And the zombies are. Uh, you got Glenn is on one side. The revolving door. This kid's on the other side, and you got this this cowardly fucker in the middle. Mm -hmm. And Glenn's like, "Okay, listen, I'm gonna kick this door, this glass out, so I can get out, and then we'll get you guys. You know, we're gonna do this. Well, every time he'd kick it, it would move it. Well, this guy's like, "Well, fuck, you know, it moved the glass mm -hmm. or it moved the whole revolving, the revolving door. door. Yeah. And this guy goes, "Fuck this!" And he pushes his way out of the revolving door, which opens it, it up to for the, the kid. The zombies. Yeah. And his kid's screaming, and they're like, "Got his." Got their fingers in his mouth and ripping his mouth apart. You know, it's like, oh, oh, man, it was. Right, and it didn't Couldn't end there. could he just have the people hold the door while he kicked it so it wouldn't rotate? Well, it was just the, the guy way panicked. Yeah, yeah, he panicked. But and, so, and it didn't end there. Then, yeah. I think, did Glenn beat him up after that? What happened was, was this guy tried to blame us all on Glenn. Right. He he, he got Glenn, like, the, the like to follow him out in the woods. Yeah. Like, hey, what's what's that guy doing? So I'll follow him out. He jumps Glenn. Glenn kicks the shit he out of him. He actually shoots Glenn. Yeah. He, like, but, shot him in the shoulder or But something. Glenn still kicks his ass. Yeah. <laughs> but right. doesn't kill him. You know, the guy breaks down, I'm not supposed to be out here. I can't, you know, he's, more or less, I'm not supposed to be living in this world. I can't mm -hmm. handle it. Right. Glenn brings Who's him back. supposed to be living in this world? Yeah. I mean, come on. Glenn brings him back, and it kind of puts him under his wing. You know, I've got yeah. my eyes uh, on you. Well, kind of like I got my that dude near me. Well, it's like well, I got my eyes on you because he's going to do something stupid and get me killed. Well, yes. Well, and that's uh, yeah, that's what happened. At the end of this, once again, spoilers, and and Will can correct me. At the end of this episode, him and this guy is up on what a van or something? No, it's a dumpster. dumpster. Yeah. A dumpster. See, I ha I got this. Story they get today. cornered in in an alleyway, surrounded by zombies. And this guy takes a chicken shit way out and shoots himself in the head. Mm -hmm. He falls backwards, bumps into Glenn, and they both tumble into the zombies. He could have at least fallen forward. The zombies swarm, and you see guts and whatnot, I guess. Mm -hmm. And the people are going, is that the end of Glenn? Did he get like so much guts and crap on him that the zombies leave him alone? Or we don't see. Is it the other guy that got ripped apart? The, uh, I think it's probably the other guy, and they got to eat through him, and something happens. Yeah, it chases the zombies off or draws their but attention away before they now get Now, see what, what amazed me is, is you always think Glenn's safe because you know how Glenn dies. If you've read the book, you know how he dies, and yes. it's pretty brutal. Which I I was disappointed that we aren't going to get that death because well, I think— Well, we might. Or, well, yeah. You yeah. notice you never see the— I would be disappointed if they say, oh, no, he miraculously survived. Well, like, well there's no reason he should have survived. Well, Glenn— what yeah, it is is had to have happened that you didn't the, the see. guy they made up for the show Daryl. You always see the you know if Daryl dies we riot. You know you never see that if Glenn dies you know we'll burn the fucker to the ground. But apparently it damn near broke the internet. Oh really? The producer had to get on I, I don't know YouTube or something and go no listen you will see Glenn again mm -hmm. whether it's in flashback another form of Glenn maybe pieces of Glenn <laughs> you will yeah. see Glenn Which again. We, at my house we interpret. To mean well, like in one zombie way, Glenn. well, or... possibly that. Uh, almost certainly, though, we we I, we think Maggie's going to be pregnant. I think that's going to be a thing. Oh, it's possible. Oh. I'm about wondering if maybe the dumpster's deep or tall enough that since he's under the guy, yeah, he's able to scoot yeah, under the, the dumpster right. and get out I, the other side. Yeah, or that's something. the only thing I think would be possible and it's See, almost reminiscent of the whole tank episode yeah, at the, the like, first my episode, theory yeah. is that somebody else shows up and like or mows the, start well, that's, mowing the that's what down. i was I, the whole time you're like well they're not gonna kill glenn somebody's gonna have to show up you know that's what i was yeah the, the whole scene is you're just and like he doesn't even realize that happen. glenn's there until he starts moving and, and he's gonna shoot him and he realizes no this guy's alive and he's yeah. this other so ooh, pile of guts that it used could to happen. be a man if they do that that's a big cop out i don't know it's like, a cop out but it's but yeah I'm, i'll be even more disappointed you know that they i don't kinda, know I, well they, they want to get a out. shock in but they don't you know that's yeah that, that's a main to character that point where right. they've got to do, give you a twist in order right. or something you're not expecting in order to get you guys excited to watch the show 
and that's the problem. Because yeah. Then they're going to start compromising story in order to give you that. Well, Glenn right. and Carol's the only ones left of the original group that <laughs> that found uh, oh, yeah, Rick. Pretty much, yeah. Because Daryl come later, right? Because he's looking yeah. for his brother, right? And Rick is his other brother there. named Daryl? He no. showed up later. Ah, that's a yeah, Daryl. A new heart show. Yeah. Holy Carl. shit! Carl was there. Yeah, Carl. Okay, Carl. with his mom. Which we're still waiting for him to have his face blown off. <laughs> that's a comic spoiler. Yeah, yeah. Comic I'm wondering spoiler. if they're going to do that. Well, because this was the opportunity when the the place got sieged. Yeah, like last episode. But I mean, it's going to get it's going to happen over and over. Apparently, and it's still. Even when these people got, you know, two weeks back under the siege of the wolves, you still had the people like, you oh, know, this ain't really happening or I'm okay. You know, like the dipshit kid. Yeah. It's like, get in the house with us. We'll keep you safe. He's like, oh, fuck you. I'll go on my own. It's like, you right. numb nut. <laughs> right. Because the lone wolf act really works well yeah. in these situations. Right. Well, uh, you know, uh, Carl's dad killed his dad, and Carl's dad wants to fuck his mom, and now Carl's macking on his girl. <laughs> so he's like, screw you. Is this? Is, are you sure this isn't Knott's Landing? And yeah. The girl, the girl likes the other guy better. I think the girl's messed up in the head. Well, she is. I'm yeah, waiting for her to <laughs> do uh, something weird. But, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of, uh, you know, uh, from the uh, – the death, the apparent death of Glenn. Yeah. In the comics, I think uh, Maggie got more interesting once Glenn died. She kind of found her own voice or Mitch, whatever. Kind of, yeah. yeah. So I'm, I'm interested to see what they do with her because I don't know. I guess she's, she's pretty, she's an established character. Obviously, yeah. She's a, she's a lovable, or she's a, you know, a favorite. I'm sure. Uh, but she hasn't really done much like for a while. And I think this is going to really give her an opportunity to, I mean, she'll probably go, you know, obviously go into mourning for a while, but I think she's going to yeah. come out and be one of the most now, see, interesting characters in the show. When I heard this, they played the audio on the radio. And I guess the character's name was Nicholas. Is that? that I, I don't know. I, I, but be. anyway, <laughs> and the way it sounded on the radio was like he shot Glenn to feed to the zombies to save oh, his own ass. Because yeah. you heard the, I'm sorry, bang. Mm. And you heard the zombies, you know, and you yeah. thought, oh, shit, he saw, shot Glenn. And, that might have actually been better. You know? And I thought, as soon as I thought that, I, I thought, that way. well, if they would have went that way, that guy wouldn't have lasted another episode. Because no. they oh, would have no. killed his ass. They, well, they knew what would have happened. Too, yeah, like, he would have. In well, the same situation. No, no, he would have made it back to camp without Glenn. And yeah. they knew they knew this guy jumped Glenn before. Because so, he does have a track record of doing that. Yeah, he does have to be in a chicken shit. So... Yeah. But, okay, so uh, 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 Flash last week I didn't see it, don't spoil it Don't spoil it, uh, we do have and pictures And I haven't seen Gotham either I do want to spoil one thing in Flash that I okay. thought was non-bullshit Like so, uh, you know, of course it's a comic book thing yeah. Whatever, just suspension what of disbelief But, uh, okay, so is this canon? Can, uh, sub, what, what's the guy, <laughs> Sub-Zero, whatever his name no, is No, Captain Cold, uh, his dad kidnaps him to help him with the robbery Yeah he goes, I've got the lasers. He goes up and freezes the he lasers. He freezes laser beams with his gun. But here's the deal. Why can't you just fall. freeze over the lenses of the laser beams? But here's the deal. My son pointed that this out. That makes sense. But you can't well, freeze lasers. They're light. But here's the deal. Yes. Yes. <laughs> my son pointed you know this how out. You that had to be to freeze light? <laughs> well, my son pointed this out. The gun does not shoot ice. Right. It stops m motion. Right. Well, so mom, my son cools. said, my oh, son yeah, said, no if way. it was cold enough, yeah. that lasers do have a, a slight yeah, amount of mass, a, and it would be very thin molecules. ice. Yes, it would be very Holy thin shit. ice, it's but it would be ice. Yeah. But you could freeze them. I think he yeah. might be right. Yeah, because that's because he's the master of absolute zero. That's what yeah. the gun does. It slows the yeah, it slows the motion. But it doesn't molecules. seem to actually go to that cold. Like he's. He froze like Barry a couple times, and and he didn't. I mean, yeah, the yeah, I, if it well, he been froze that cold. Barry would have. Done. Well, he froze the 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 moisture molecules around Barry, forming ice. Yeah. Then why don't you don't. just use it on Barry and because kill him? Because right. they don't kill. Because in the comics, they have a, an agreement. If yeah. he can freeze light molecules that are moving excitedly, he can <laughs> shit. The uh, the rogues always had this thing: you don't kill the Flash. Why? You can fuck him up. You Why can't kill, kill him. Because once you kill the superhero, guess what? All the other superheroes come after your ass. 
So we, you know, we yeah, can. You don't want Superman or Batman. Yeah, showing up. it's like okay, the Flash right. will put us in really? jail. We can break out. No big shit. You know, we got a thing going with the Flash. We kill the Flash. Batman comes to town. Batman don't fuck around. Yeah, <laughs> you know, Batman, no. You know, Batman will I, jack it's hard shit to be up. a villain in Gotham. Yeah, Batman will yeah. jack your shit up. So yeah, unless One thing, God, unless uh, Bruce Wayne is eight years old, it seems. Yeah, like. and then right. you, no problem being a villain in Gotham. Yeah. Okay. So that's a good a segue, though. Two. Um, there's another thing that appeared in Flash that I thought was oh, kind of okay. a funny thing. Um. So they they talk about. So oh yeah, two things. Okay. okay the Golden Glider. Yes. Yes. I hate the, I the hate stupidest the name. name. I hate the well, name they too. call her the that because, because she's called that in the comics. Well, no. Her her deal was she had skates. She was an okay. ice skater that her right. skates kind of made ice so she could go. And they were razor sharp so she jumped and kicked and all this shit would catch up. Yes. But so yes, stupid. it makes no sense in the show. Yeah, I'm 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 over Cisco, the whole naming yeah, the bad Yeah, Cisco guys. dropped the I ball. Thought Adam on that Smasher one. was a stupid name to give that guy. It's like he absorbs energy and gets bigger. Let's call him Adam Smasher. That no, he absorbs atoms and he smashes. Okay, but yeah, whatever. Yeah, but it's uh, like, what? So okay, but then the other thing that's just kind of silly. No, what he should have said is like Barry should have grabbed his jaw and he's like, "Man, he hit me so hard. I think he knocked some molecules loose." <laughs> Adam Smasher. <laughs> <laughs> but they didn't. What? Do that. That's what we'll call him, Adam, Adam Smasher. Smasher. Yeah. yeah sure. But I thought, but I thought it was interesting. The uh, Captain Cold family business is crime. Uh, and I first noted that when we watched Gotham, there's a family whose business is in crime, crime in Gotham also, mm -hmm. uh, arson specifically. Well, and I just thought that was a funny it, idea. Fire that, like, and ice, so. The family business is In the arson. comics, his dad was nope. just an asshole. He, he was just a drunken asshole who beat him. Yeah. You know, mom, I think mom died, so he beat the kids. Then Snark leaves his sister, and his sister gets beat, you know. Yes. Now, this, I... Sorry, Matt, spoilers. Mm. I, I got to do All this because right. I've got to explain this. I'm I was, watching it tonight. Hopefully okay. When I get home. I was really okay. Let me put this. I was really surprised at the ending. I knew it was going to happen. Okay. I've just spoilers. It's been a week. You should have watched it. <laughs> Captain <laughs> quit. Captain Cold kills his dad. Fuck. I could still hear that. <clears throat> what, uh, now, what's cool is in the comics at the time. Um, we just met his dad though, so nobody cares. Yeah, no one cares. <laughs> what happened is in the comics. There's this big crossover See, thing I happened. Killed his dad in the comics, though. So. Yeah, no, he didn't. Oh, did I thought he did? No. What happened is this this big crime organization's going. They want the rogues to join. The rogues say no, we're not going to join. So this organization makes their own rogues. They've got their own mirror master, their own Captain Cold kind of stuff, and they kidnap Captain Cold's dad. And they, they contact him through, like, you know, the Mirror Masters gimmick and says, listen, you're going to show up here, you're going to surrender yourself so we can kill you, or we're going to kill your dad. And Captain Cold goes, no, we're going to show up, we're going to kill you, and then I'm going to kill my dad. <laughs> so they get there, they beat the sh they kill all these newbies, like like nothing. And then it'll, Captain Cold walks in, there's his dad, he points his gun at him and goes, no. I can't do it. You know, it's his dad. He can't kill. He goes, Mick, take care of this for me. And then and, and, uh, Heat Wave sets him on fire and kills him. I would rather die by the cold gun than uh, the fire gun. Thank you. Uh, we do have uh, pictures of. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, Killer Frost. Yeah. That we did get a hint of last season. Yeah, that's the. Right. I saw that. That girl is so hot. Oh, she is. Even in the blonde wig. I, look especially. This, this might make me dirty, but I even kind of had a thing for her when she was in Sky High, and I think she was only like 16 when she was in Sky High. She was like, I'm like, that girl is going to be gorgeous. <laughs> and well, she was. <laughs> apparently she's got a thing for Jay in this. Oh, yeah. Really, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Really, a lot of flirting going on. So okay. uh, this week is Firestorm, or the new Firestorm, I should say. So... They're making a new character to merge with the professor. They're, they're, they they do have Amel a. Mel wanted more money. Why did, why did this we don't happen? know? He just yeah for whatever reason he, he just, just disappeared and he may be back. Like, oh yeah, remember when he flew into the thing and disappeared? No, because you didn't show it. Yeah. Well, uh, it happened. That's they what said he here. may be back at some point, but everyone assumed this new guy was Jason Jason Rush. 
from the comics. It's not. It's a totally new character. Is this when they had, like, the firestorm that was sort of, like, I remember you had the white face and the big mane. Oh, no, 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 no. Is that this one? Okay. In the comics real now, quick. That was in the 90s. Yeah. In the comics or in the 70s, you had the original firestorm. Yeah. Uh, terrorists broke into a nuclear plant. At the same time, the school uh, the school tour was going on. And he got bit by a radioactive spider. No, uh, the oh, professor wait. and... Uh, Ronnie? Ronnie gets stuck in it like an accelerator, and they merge together to form Firestorm because of this nuclear reactor. Mm -hmm. Okay, turns out that was never supposed to happen. Professor Stein was supposed to merge with the fire elemental, kind of like uh, like Swamp Thing has the, uh, oh, the plant Earth elemental. elemental. Yeah, Earth. He was supposed to be the fire elemental. Ronnie screwed it up. The guy you're thinking of, by the end of the series, was Professor Stein with the Firestorm power all on his own. All on his own? Yeah. And, um... Okay. Yeah, I don't know. So, I, I had a trading card with him on it. Yeah. But what That's this as is... as much as I knew is, about it. Is during the whole DC, we have to kill off old white characters to replace them with minority characters. Oh, you mean modern day Marvel. Yeah. <laughs> they, uh, yeah. DC was ahead of their time. Yeah, no <laughs> They killed off Ronnie, and then they brought in Jason Rush, who had to merge with... He could merge with anybody, mm -hmm. but he would burn them up. If he stayed merged with them too long, he would use up all his power and burn out his host. Oh, right. So it would kill him, and that's what we assumed was his character. Mm -hmm. He was he was uh, introduced... Uh, Jason Rush was introduced last season. When they were looking for Professor Stein, oh, and he so he's knew there. he's there, and it looks like he's the bad guy. It looks like I'm supposed to have this, and I'm supposed to be Firestorm, and all that. Mm -hmm. He's the, you know, the asshole that's looking for the power kind of yeah. thing. So it'll be interesting. It's tomorrow night. Well, uh, by the time you guys hear this, um, yeah, you'll have seen it or not seen it like me. Actually, there's no reason I can't watch. See, I can't watch Gotham because I'm here. There's no, I don't know why I don't watch Flash on Tuesday nights, but I record yeah, it and I really. watch it later. What the hell's your problem? I don't know. I usually watch Flash and Gotham together. Oh, well, there you go. Like all okay. DC night. Um, I think Gotham is carrying on in a... In a uh, I like the good. way they're going. It's going well. If, going they, well. if they stop killing guys I like, that would be great. <laughs> yeah. um, but I, I had a revelation. Uh -oh. I, I, I can't be the first person to think this, but um, I was thinking that uh, Michael Chiklis... Um, should start a podcast called Here's the Thing. Uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, just talk about it. We'll just, just throw all topics. pretense out the window and say it's clobbering time. Yeah. Or it's casting time. Or, or it's conversation time. <laughs> it's sit down and have you know, rational conversation time. That's my joke of the week, everybody. There you go. Bump, bump, just to make <laughs> Jake was not understanding what he's doing. Is this thing on? <laughs> Hello? You hear me? Hey, man, I like the commish. Leave him alone. <laughs> um, okay, I had a question about uh, an arrow. Yes, arrow. They're they're play they got uh so they sh they showed briefly uh, a new piece of tech that they said this is an autonomous communications device the that The T spheres. And it has a T on it. Yes. Oh, for Mr. Terrific. For, for Mr. Terrific. Yeah, why why they didn't explain why it has a big T on it because Mr. Terrific doesn't exist yet. Yet. But uh, they also introduced. They made them for Technotronic. Okay, the, the band from oh, the nineties. Cool. The the character Michael oh, Hort be, will jam. become Mr. Terrific. Oh, he has. Jam. Is that the 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 black guy, the scientist yes. guy there? Okay, not Moss. And what Mr. Terrific has in the comics is he has Never mind. his mask is actually a T that covers right. his eyes and goes down his mouth, and right. it's all like a black piece, like uh, like wriggles or whatever the. Biggles, yeah. yeah Diggles. 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 Yeah. But what it is is it looks like face paint. It doesn't actually look like a mask. Wiggle, diggle, or biggles. <laughs> but it's a it's kinda like the Tony Stark like interface. Yeah. They introduced okay. that also. Remember he had the, the contacts that was a oh, communication right. screen. Exactly. And the so that will work into his but he always has these I just want one of those terrific spheres to like like malfunction and hit him in the face really yeah, they, hard. Yeah, they and hover. He's the big T on his face. In the comics, he's got three of them that kind of hover around yeah. him, and he controls, and they can scan things. They can they have defensive mm. and offensive capabilities. Huh. So it's a really neat thing. I was surprised they had double down. I really, really. 
Oh yeah, what the? <laughs> what a ridiculous, annoying. I, and that was a Flash villain. Yeah, and it was a Jeff Johns villain. So, well, it's Jeff Johns. Hey, at least they kept it because in the comics he's got like a big ace of spades or something on his face. Yeah. So at least they got that. Mm. Yeah. But this guy apparently was getting tattoos done when the when the uh, particle accelerator went off. Okay. So he's got it looks like playing cards on his arm that he can peel off. They turn into like almost like steel, and he throws them. So he's like throwing, uh, yeah, yeah. kind of like the. Isn't dude. there a? There was. Oh, uh, was that? Was that an Electra that the guy had the movie or the Electra movie that the guy had the tattoos that would come to life? I never Probably. saw the Electra movie. I know. I. You. I vaguely remember this. Well, when he moved, all I could think was the uh, the Spike guy off of. Uh, uh, oh yeah. X Men. The X-Men last X or not? Class, wasn't it? Or no, was it? no. It was. Uh, God, what was the one with the Phoenix? Uh, the last stand. The last stand where he's running through the woods and he's just throwing these like spikes at Wolverine. Yeah, I remember that guy. Oh, yeah, 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 that's kind of what he looked like. Who was like mm. not Marrow, but not what was yeah. the guy's name? Spike from the animated yeah. series. God, he's <laughs> neither one of these characters, even though he's exactly like both of those characters. Okay, one one more th- uh, question I have okay. about. Uh, okay, in Agents of Shield, okay. uh, which I don't know if you guys are watching. Nope. Again, yeah, I think it's it's going. I watched this it. is best season so far. I think they're improving. Okay, that's like uh, saying this is the least smelly shit. Okay. Yes. <laughs> oh no. Ah, oh, <laughs> mic problems. Yeah, technical difficulties. Um, now okay, the three so this character. Taken. So they finally revealed that this. We thought it was like an ice monster, but apparently he's shooting like energy beams. Yeah. Like the big beast. Mo- they finally Lash. identified him as Lash. This yes. Episode. So what's what's the story with Lash? Lash, I honestly I don't, <laughs> I don't know. know much about. Lash. No, Lash is a new. Actually, okay. Lash is less than I'd say six months old in the Marvel universe. Oh, okay. So this is probably one of those that they collaborated with the show because there's no way collaborated. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> collaborated. Collaborated. Now I can't say it because Co- I would say he's less than at least a year. So for okay. them to make him in the comic and then be able to have him on the show this fast. That's the name of Michael Chiklis' thing, collaborated. Oh, nice. <laughs> it's collaborating time. It's collaborating time. So I love it. Uh, nice. the, the, the chick was on the beginning of it was technically a, like a multiple man. She could split off and mm-hmm. make right. multiples. So that's that was never in the book. And is it in a human? Is this what? Uh, what They're inhumans. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All yeah. right. This thing, he's inhuman, but he's going around killing other inhumans. So oh, yeah, it's yeah. yeah. Boy, it's, I just wish I'd get the rights back to X Men. And and yeah. the more I look at a Quake or Daisy, she's starting to look more and more like Black Widow, because it looks like she's wearing a Black Widow suit with just with like power gauntlets on. Yeah. <laughs> is it skin tight? It's getting there because that chick I mean, is really hot. I, so, oh, she's that's a super attractive woman. Right Chloe there. Bennett. Bennett or wait, yeah, I don't know what her name is. It's yeah. it's sort of like I don't call it. Uh, Karen Jordan's Gillian. Spent. I just call her Amy Pond. Yeah, <laughs> and it is Amy. So, what do you call uh, this character that Daisy. you're talking about? Isn't it Daisy. Okay. Well, now, yeah. I was wondering Daisy. if you're going to call her Sky or Daisy. Oh, Sky. Oh. No, yeah, I'll probably call her Sky. I forgot her name was Sky before Daisy. But Daisy's her real name. Daisy's her real name. Yes. Now, once again, I real quick going back to Arrow. I love the whole. I don't care that the what's going to happen. I love this person. I want to bring him back from the dead. Like yeah. the whole freaking monkey's paw. Crap As if that going. has Well, if they had some indication that that didn't go well. Yeah. Oh wait. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like this always goes well when you try to bring someone back Speedy's from the dead. Speedy's completely stable, so let's try it again. <laughs> but this this is the 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 theorem right now because it has been re- revealed that November 4th is the episode with Constantine. Okay. So they bring uh, the first canary dies. Last yeah, season. yeah, I remember that. Yeah. So her sister goes, "By God, I'm bringing her back from the dead with the Lazarus pit." They say, "No, it's never been done before, or it has been. It went horribly freaking wrong. You can't do it." By the end of the episode, it's like, "Fuck you, I'm doing it anyway." They do it. She comes out. She's just an animal, for the most part. She's just gonna be a killing machine. Mm-hmm. So they brought her body back, not her soul. Mm-hmm. So now Constantine's gonna come in. To find a way to give her back her soul. Because we know she's in Legends of Tomorrow. At what point yeah. do they dip Jerome 
into the, the <laughs> Lazarus pit and his skin turns white and his hair turns green. That's hopefully all I want to know. Hopefully soon. I, that's all I care about. I want that to happen. See, well, what? Guess what? R- Raz Al Ghul was in Gotham when that when he, when the cast went out. He saw someone as an error. Mm-hmm. So it was. So he he steals the body. Yeah, puts him in the Lazarus pit and it goes horribly wrong. Maybe he wants. <laughs> maybe he wants to cause chaos. There you go. And he's trying to keep the court of owls. So he, <laughs> I don't know. Oh yeah, I, I was going to ask about the court of owls, but we're yep. already like an hour and ten. Okay, minutes. but really? real quick, just what you got. I just don't know anything about it. The Court of Owls is something that was created in the New 52. It's technically the secret society that's been in Gotham for generations. Okay. They run everything from the shadows that Batman knew nothing about. Yeah. <laughs> See, that, that, if nothing else, nothing that's the... I that's, thought I was the shadow. Yeah, that's the far-stretching thing is that Batman, for however long he's been active, has no idea that the Court of Owls existed. You know, that was like an old Gotham nursery rhyme, you know. Wait a minute, they fly around at night? That's my gimmick. Uh, yeah, what so. Seems like I would have seen them. Yeah. Yeah. But that's pretty much what it is, so. Our Batman voices suck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're you s- still better than uh, Christian Bale, though. Yeah. I, would, I guess you I sound I like a motherfucking gorilla. I sound like a motherfucking gorilla. But all right, uh, Will wasn't able to go with us, but we did do the road trip. Oh, yeah. It was fun. Yeah, it was pretty good. We did so. You know what we need to talk about? What we need to plug? Uh oh, what's that? Is the uh, Lebanon Halloween Comic Con that's oh, right. coming up on Halloween? Yes, this well, weekend. the thirtieth and the thirty first. That's this right, weekend. Saturday. This episode should go out before then, right? Uh, what? <laughs> oh yeah, this yeah. will be up on Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. It's it's like I just told you that I had sex with your mother. That's the look that was on your face whenever I. It was like what? all I said was, "Is this episode's gonna go out before then?" And it was like, "What? What, what are you talking about? What kind of question? Don't stick me to a deadline, man. You're trying to test me, son. <laughs> all right, anyway. I just shot your dog. <laughs> so yeah, that's gonna be um, in Lebanon, Missouri. So if you're in the area and listening to this. Lebanon, Missouri at the Mills Center, which is part of the Cowan Civic Center. So, you should go check that out. I'm going to go. I think Will said she's... It's the best part of the Cowan Center, if you ask I, me. I, 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 the only time I've only been in there once. Yeah, I didn't even know there were multiple parts. Well, I know there's uh, a swim pool in there. I'm hoping there's a sign. Are you uh, going to go? I actually played a, uh, uh, did a show. I played it? on the stage. Uh, the 30th yeah, and the 31st. Back in the day. Yeah. Anyone care? Uh, I might. Maybe. I think got. I'm going to try and hit it up on the 30th after work. Yeah, because we get I'm to wear Friday. our Halloween costumes to uh, work anyway that oh, day, and I'm going as Daredevil. So, oh, there you go. really, yeah, it's not a very good Daredevil costume. It's basically a Daredevil beanie that you can pull down and make a Daredevil mask and a Daredevil T-shirt. That's my whole fucking costume. Because there are there, there's one Daredevil costume out there, and it's a morph suit, and I don't think anybody wants to see my moose knuckle. <laughs> I at think, the yeah, man, skin tight's the way to go. Mommy, what's that? <laughs> Look like fucking David Bowie from Labyrinth. <laughs> Can you do the Dance like the ball uh, juggling thing in your hand? In no. one hand, he couldn't even do Juggle that. Apparently, they, you, if you notice, they they have a stunt hand. They always yeah. cut away when he's doing that. <laughs> uh, All right, we're ready for some Marvel trivia. Yes, boys. let's go. All right, one. How does Iron Man fly? Remember repulsor? this is the no, no. Remember this was nineties. That's, that's right. He doesn't have repulsor. He just he doesn't actually. Well, he fly, has he repulsors, just jumps but no, yeah, but jet not, boots. Yeah, do you, well, I didn't know it was gonna be that simple. Yeah, back back in back in the nineties, they didn't do the whole you know, physics actually keeping you balanced crap. It yeah, was I just thought it was, jet yeah, because it's repulsors just like in his hands. Yeah, yeah, that's how he works. Yeah. What is the scorpion's most deadly weapon? His uh, stinger. His fucking his tail. tail. <laughs> stinger Who tail. is Deadpool's best friend and arms dealer? Oh shit! I don't know much about Deadpool. Michael Weasel, huh. Weasel is his best. Polly friend. Shore? Well, I don't even know if Weasel's alive. Oh, if they got Polly Shore to play Weasel, that would be the best thing in the world. <laughs> yeah, he needs some work. Hey, what, buddy. What X Man is a coal miner's son from Kentucky? Um, wait, wait! I know this one. Sister Space Klein. <laughs> Cannonball oh, boys. That's cool. We did. <laughs> He That's two the, sides he, of the same coin. Yeah, color. I did Patsy Cline, the real gold miner. He did the, the one movie. who played the gold miner in the movie. <laughs> the cannonball. North Star is only half human. What is his other half? Star. Remember, this was the 90s. <laughs> Elf. 
Oh, elf. Fuck. I want to say elf. Yeah. All right. Is that, is that how they explain why he's gay? Oh, I'm sorry. True blood stole that. No, I'm sorry. Not only that, it gets worse. I was close. Okay, Jet Boots, his tail, weasel, cannonball, and fairy. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Holy shit, working, is man. that on the nose? <laughs> yeah, right. That was weird. Did Mark or do did Rob Le- 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 Liefeld come up with oh that character? Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, before he got his powers, Peter Parker idolized and wanted to be like which red, white, and blue superhero? Captain America. Just like J. Jonah Jameson. Which made so much sense whenever he chose Iron Man during Civil <laughs> War. How many times must Spidey tap his web shooters to spray webs? Twice. Twice. Really? He's tap, all tap, Spider-Man yeah. kind of question. Got a double yes. tap. Oh, double, tap. double tap it. Who was Peter Parker's best man at his wedding to Mary Jane? Flash Thompson. Flash Thompson. Who helped Spidey create his alternate identity of the Hornet? Uh, Mary Jane. No. He she helped him create them all. No, but it was the tech part. It was uh, the Prowler, wasn't it? Well, maybe it was the Prowler. It was either. Yeah, I think it was the Prowler. Maybe I'm thinking of Prodigy. Who helped Spidey? Okay, uh, what year was of Web of Spider-Man number one released? 1985. Captain America, twice. Flash Thompson, Hobby Brown, a.k.a. The, the Prowler. Prowler, 1986. Oh, fuck! I missed it! Mm. I was so confident in that one, too. Oh, yeah. no, 85. Well, I have, like, uh, three uh, copies uh, of it. Yeah, but, no shit. He actually pulled his um, shirt off and started strutting around the room after he said <laughs> what, that. What? What? What you gonna do? If I'm not mistaken, that was by uh, Peter David, wasn't it? And Web of Spider-Man, or he started. Well, I don't know. The, there was a really... The writer of um, Seinfeld? And, uh, I do remember that is the issue where um, they go up to the clock tower, and that's the, oh, the alien costume gets people. loose from the Fantastic Four. Yeah. And he goes up to the, 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 the no the bell tower in the church, and it tries to rebond with him, and they bang that... And they move. Then, yeah. Oh, yeah. if you were to believe, be Sensor to believe, sound, in, la- in that issue that we do not see, Eddie Brock is below. Yeah. Okay. In the church. Yeah. Praying that that uh, he somebody would kill Peter Parker. Some sim symbiote symbiot yes. would fall on him. And he's going to yep. kill. He, he's committing. He's he's contemplating suicide or something. Dun, dun, dun. Which then he would then kill himself later. But then he got better. He got better. Yeah, there was like an issue where they imply like Eddie Brock killed himself, and then he yeah. shows up later in the hospital. Yeah, he got better. Got better. All right. Anyways. I always love that. I thought you died. I got better. <laughs> it's like what? Anyway, send all complaints to contact at scramblebrainscast.com, or you can go to our Facebook page at facebook.com slash scramblebrainscast. You can like us there. That'd be that'd be cool. Somebody know. should like us. Somebody somewhere. should like us. We had, didn't we have some new likes? Or was that no? Oh, that was a like of a. Ever. We yeah. had a like of something we posted. It wasn't a new like of the board. Uh, we're also on Twitter, at Scramblecast, uh, and Tumblr at scramblebrainscast.tumblr.com. Uh, you were, bleh, fuck. Our website is yeah. www.scramblebrainscast.com, where you can find all new episodes. You can also find links to all of this stuff, yep. including iTunes, where you can yes. go and you can review us and give us, you know, subscribe. Subscribe. That'd be yeah, great. And actually, I guess reviews are sort of almost more important than subscriptions. Yes, probably. Because that's yeah. what gets us up in the and rankings for more people. if you want to see uh, a logo while you're watching us, I'm guessing Ooh. that's what the, it is. It's usually the, it's the, a, the weekly it's, it's picture. The weekly it's image. the weekly yeah. picture. Yeah. The weekly picture. Uh, which you can go to YouTube, which yep. is our new YouTube, YouTube channel, which doesn't have a catchy name because they won't let us have one until we have 100 subscribers. So, Go if you could follow there. the link from the web page, go to YouTube and subscribe so we can get something that people yep. can actually put in there and find us easily. Right. That and, seems uh, counterproductive to getting 100 subscribers. I would like to thank Nick's son for being our only subscriber. Hey, oh, that's hey. fine. It's it's better than none. You know what? <laughs> we should subscribe, too, because that'll put us up to four. I think, yep. anyway. I actually haven't looked at it for a while. Yeah, probably. <laughs> and that's... Hey. And four's on yeah. our way to 100. We really need that. He must so. be listening to it a lot, though, so <laughs> that, at least we've got that. That's cool. That's fine. Hey. And so. uh, I guess that's a, that's a wrap. Yeah, that's a wrap, boys. Oh, it's, it's all right, so let's call it a day. Hey. Goodbye, Internet. Have a happy Halloween. Oh, yeah, do that. Yeah. <laughs> and also, while you're I at mean, it. goodbye, Internet. <laughs> 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 and yeah, we're not going to have another show for Halloween, are we? We should have done something spooky. Yeah. Well, that that was pretty spooky, Matt. I know. Wait, let's turn off the lights. No, no, I don't want anybody touching my junk again. We could stay outside. 
<laughs> Fine. <laughs> Without me being able to see it. All right. We already did the goodbyes. Goodbye, yeah. Internet. Go away. Yeah.